What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Don, and I'm back here with another video, man. Double upload on a Sunday, man. Putting in this work. But I have another current gen build for y'all boys, man. I made the perfect center for any game mode. And I really mean any because I made him fast enough to be able to guard pretty much anybody. This this build is something special. And I know it's a center build. I only call him center because he is best for running the five or the th or the third man in park, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Even though this build is a power forward, just trust me when I say this is the best build to have at center. You are not going to see a lot of other builds like this, man. I'm going to just keep it a buck with you. Even though you're power forward, the best center build, period. But hey, man, we're going to go ahead and get into the actual build, man. But first, welcome to the channel, man. Welcome back if you've been here before. And thank you for coming back, bro. But all right, you already know what to do, man. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. Let's get into the video. So like I said, man, this build is going to have to be at the power forward just to make it as fast as possible, man. You can try making it as a center. I already did. The speed is not enough. But this build, man, can guard pretty much any position on the court. You will be fast enough. To stay in front of anybody, man. This is a lockdown defender build. And if you've seen the person in the thumbnail, just know, man. This build nice. But all right, man. We're going to get into this actual build, man. We are going to start by picking the pie chart, man. Can't lie, I do not miss picking the pie charts. I would much rather do what's in next gen. But hey, man. People demanded videos for current gen, so I'm gonna do that, man. We're going with the all red defensive pie chart all red lockdown build and all right man with the physical pie chart we're going to go with the pie chart that has both speed and vertical speed and vertical because to be a good defender you have to be able to contest them shots man sorry with this build man you're going to max out everything on the finishing end with the exception of post hook we ain't doing no post hooks you won't need none of that shooting You'll still be able to hit free throws at a high clip just in case you want to take this build into the wreck. You're maxing out everything on the playmaking level to give you six badges, man. Sorry, on the defensive end, you want to go ahead and put up interior all the way. Throw 10 of those points that you're going to have left on perimeter. Lateral quickness all the way, still all the way, block all the way, and both rebound and stats, you want to take those all the way up, man. And all right, with this build, you heavy enough. Go ahead and put that defined thing on there, man. Make sure you look nice and stocky because you're going to be playing real big. You saw the height that I went with. And with the weight, you want to go with 190. Just so you're not giving up too much strength and wingspan, we're going to max that thing out. I know I'm moving kind of quick, but hey, man, you need me to slow down. Just go ahead and pause the video. And with the takeover, with all them defensive badges, you seen those 30 defensive badges? Did you see them? With 30 defensive badges, in my opinion, it does not make sense to go with any other takeover other than the rim protector takeover, man. That's going to have you out there being super toxic, shutting everybody down, doing everything you got to do, man. Those boards, <clears throat> pretty much yours. With that high vertical and this 89-inch wingspan, you're going to be all right. And you're going to take a lot of trips to the line, man, because this build is going to be pretty tough to stop. But you don't need no free throw, man. You can hit those without it. Just learn your timing. We can go with the rim protecting takeover, and that is going to give you a glass cleaning finisher. Shades of Brandon Clark, Dennis Rodman, and Zion Williamson, man. I'm telling you, this build is the truth. One of the best defensive builds that I've ever created, man. And I suggest y'all get on the wave and create it too. But let's go ahead and test the build out. So I'm going to show you all the badges that this build is going to be working with. Because these badges are something serious. Alright, so we're going to kick it off with the finishing badges. And we got 16 of them things to use however we see fit. First things first, you can go with Slithery Finisher. I understand you can't get it on Hall of Fame. Hey man, that is what it is. We're going to Slithery on Gold, Lob City on Gold, Contact Finisher on Gold, Gotta go with that consistent finisher, man, because you do want to be able to hit those 
more questionable shots in the paint, and we're gonna put back down on bronze. This build doesn't have a lot of strength, but it will still be able to bang down there with the centers. Let them know you ain't little, you know what I'm saying? All right, with that being said, we are going to go ahead and move on to the one and only shooting badge that you are going to need on this build. And it might not be what y'all thinking, man. Hit me down in the comment section before we get there. What y'all think this one shooting badge going to be? What y'all think? Well, all right, man, to get into the one shooting badge, you want to go with the only one that makes sense. You want to go with slithery off ball. Kind of helps you get away from those screens after you set them on a perimeter. It it's goaded. It's really one of those badges, man. But all right, with you being a primary rebounder and playing the five on this build, you want to hit break starter and put that all the way up to gold, as well as putting quick first step on gold. And all right, man, time to get into the best part. The the real, the real, I don't even know what to call it, man. The focal point, I guess, of this build. And that is on the defensive end, man. You only need box on bronze. Don't worry about nothing else higher than that. Obviously, for you being a big man, you're going to want to have rebound chaser size possible. We're going to put that on Hall of Fame. Go ahead and move on to rim protector. You're a rim protector, man. Obviously, you want that on Hall of Fame. Intimidator, also Hall of Fame. Chase down artist, you want to put that on Hall of Fame because we're going to be chasing down something serious with this build, man. Build is super fast. You'll be able to catch them guards on the break. Put on clamps on Hall of Fame because you do want to be able to guard that pick and roll. You know what I'm saying? So you can guard the, the guard when he gets it. Interceptor on bronze, pickpocket on bronze. That's just so you get the right animations. We're going to put off-ball pest on bronze just so you can stop those. Oops. Brick wall is on silver, and we're going to put worm on Hall of Fame. There's one other way I, I would do this build. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be just extra glitchy, you know what I'm saying? Getting takeover real fast. You can take uh, the badge points you have in Worm. If you're not really too worried about those offensive boards, you can go ahead and put that on Heart Crusher, man. If anybody's played this game, you know how OP that badge is, man. Heart Crusher will have you out there getting takeover so fast because you get a boost to takeover every time you do a defensive stop. And Heart Crusher also helps take down your opponent's takeover, man. Once you block those guards, I'm trying to bring that weak stuff in the paint. Trust me, man. This build is something serious, man. But before we slide on out of here, man, I need I need y'all to let me know, man. Get active in the comment section. Are y'all messing with these current gen builds? Because I'm not sure if I should keep doing these videos or not. So y'all just let me know, man. Get active. Because if y'all want more of these current gen builds, I'm going to keep bringing these bangers, man. I already, I already got one more in the tuck. I'm going to show y'all the center build that I use. In order to grind rep in current gen. I mean, it's pretty similar to the one that I use in next gen as well. You know, same same thing. Big men get the most rep. Everybody knows that. But all right, man, that is pretty much the end of this video. I will be catching y'all boys next time. Make sure if you're still here with me down in the comment section, you let me know you watch till the end. You know what I'm saying? And I thank you and I appreciate all y'all for being active on this channel. And if you ain't subscribed, what are you doing, man? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy because I don't want y'all to miss out on nothing else. Both current gen and next gen 2K21. Got them both on lock, man. I'm going to be bringing some park gameplay here pretty soon. Already got my builds maxed out. Got that play shot, you know, getting extra glitchy with it. I might make something else just to shake, shake it. Just shake it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I will catch y'all boys next time. It's your boy Don, and I am up out of here. Peace.